What's going on guys, my name is Arik and this is Dark Souls 2 and in this video I'm going to show you two ways of defeating the giant lord the first one being uh, with a melee character or a dex faith character to be more specific and the second one being with a uh, spellcaster where I'm using uh, sorceries so uh, you can use you can just run past all of the enemies uh, trigger the giant head to uh, start rolling and then uh, kill all of the giants with the head and you will get hit by the flames if you're standing here but you won't be you it won't be able to kill you which is good um, I'm sorry if you're uh, hearing some background noise right now uh, I can't do anything about it it's just uh, I, 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 I'm just sorry but um, when you when you're about to start a fight, wait for the uh, fire bombs to drop, and then uh, run towards the giant lord. Dodge at the very end, or dodge right before the the sword hits the ground to dodge it. Otherwise, you will get hit by the sword. And this attack or this boss can be quite difficult if you're a melee character because it's very hard to see what attack is about to use. If he's, if he's, ah, sorry guys. If he's using the stomp attack, um, either that one right there or the normal stomp, uh, that one. You're, uh, I think those were the same. <laughs> um, if he uses the stomp attack, you're uh, you're good to go. But uh, if he decides to use the sword swing, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, might as well just uh, say the move set right now. He's got a sword swing which will hit uh, either once or twice. Um, if you uh, if you spot the attack, the first attack quick enough, you can just roll past it. Uh, sometimes I had uh, some success by just standing behind his left leg. That way the attack wouldn't hit me at all, but. Uh, if you decide to follow up with a second swing, uh, that always hit me, so I would just roll all the time. And uh, right there, he might follow up with uh, a sword slam. That one can be dodged by rolling towards the back of him. You can just pay attention to the sound. Uh, he will make uh, his uh, growl or uh, <laughs> his uh, voice when he's about to attack. So. Uh, just uh, be pay attention to that and you should be good to go. The second one right here is a uh, spellcaster version of the fight. So this is probably the most useful way of dealing with the giant lord. Uh, any range attacks will do really. Uh, I was just using sorceries because uh, I was farming the giant lord at the time. And um, I believe this is uh, new game plus 7 or the maximum uh, difficulty that uh, you can fight him with, uh, so we obviously won't have as much health, uh, or he won't withstand as much health in uh, in your game. But uh, just uh, wait for him to attack. If you use this attack, you might be able to get in two hits before uh, he swings again or slams his sword again. But uh, I would just I would just use one attack, uh, just be safe. Because if he does hit you with uh, the sword slam, or probably the swing as well, he will either do massive damage or even kill you. He would have killed me if I would have taken damage. Um, but uh, sorceries works, and if you have uh, uh, crossbows or uh, bow and arrow. You will be able to do this as well. It obviously will uh, take a little bit longer, but uh, it is possible. So uh, that's pretty much how you uh, defeat the giant lord. He is in uh, memory of Jay, which is right after the place unbeknownst bonfire in uh, Forest of the Fallen Giant, which is um, through a locked door, which requires the king's ring to gain access to. That's pretty much been it. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.